Today we are going to see something in data wave. So mainly uh, we are going to convert our uh, XML to JSON. So when you do that, uh, we just going to apply uh, how to bring that attributes there, how to create object uh, properly. If there is a repeated items, how to bring that to array. So that is the one we are going to see today. So in order to do that, I'll just uh, go to data wave playground and I'll just quickly open the playground. So for this example, I'm going to use XML as a input. So I'll just choose this as XML. And then I'll just copy some XML from internet. Okay, so I'll just take XML attribute with sample. I'll take it from W3 uh, schools website. You just go bottom of the page and you have one sample. If you look at this sample, it has a uh, messages as a root tag and you have a repeated item as a note. And uh, you have some ID which is attribute here. And then there are a few fields which is elements here. So now I'm just going to take this XML as a input for my data wave. So I just copied that. Okay. So now uh, I'll just remove this dot message so that you can see the exact output of this XML to JSON. Okay, but you closely look at it. So what we are missing here in our output, we see here there is an ID here. Okay, so ID phi not one, ID phi not two. So this is an attribute, but that value is not coming in the right side. So how do we bring that attribute? So basically, we are just trying to convert everything in XML to JSON. Uh, because sometime in some of our requirement the the receiving team uh, they might be comfortable with uh, json so they don't need any confirmation so what are the data coming as xml we just need to convert to json and giving it to them for their processing but now if you look at it so we are missing some data which is mainly these attributes how do we bring that attributes so what you do is in the output uh, tag so you just go that uh, place you add right attributes right attributes equal to true okay so there is no double quote and all so you just give right attributes true so if you see here now the attribute came here so at the rate id and uh, phi not one is coming here and phi not two is coming here so which means you are getting all data and if you look at it there is one more difference here so here the note is a repeated element okay so you see here there are two notes here but if you look at the output structure even the note is repeated. So this is one object so where you have all fields are coming properly. And there is one more object that is also all the fields are coming properly. But normally in the JSON, if there is something as array or collection, so you instead of curly braces, right? So you have to have a array and then which is a square bracket and then you have to have a repeated objects there. So how do we bring that structure? So what we need to do is, uh, so we have one more, um, Thing we can add it so when we add multiple things you need to add a comma so i'll add a comma here and then you say duplicate key as array equal to true so once you set it if you see here so this now the note information it is coming as an array so this array is getting started here and getting closed here and you have repeated elements the object is coming within that particular array so this way uh, so we can convert XML to JSON with the proper attributes and also uh, the proper uh, structure. So basically the repeated element or repeated key. So we are just making as an array. Thank you. Uh, hi, thank you for watching this video so far. If you like the video, please share it with your friends and also subscribe to this Tech Lightning channel. Thank you. Bye-bye.